Welcome back friends with another movie reaction. This is A Quiet Place Part 2. And I don't remember exactly why I skipped this movie back when it first came out. Possibly because my reaction to the first movie got taken down off YouTube. I think it got unblocked like a couple months later, but I thought the first movie was really really good actually. Super tense and a really beautiful story about family and love. And now there's a prequel coming out soon, so I wanted to get back into this. We figured out at the end of the last film ways to fight back against those creatures with certain frequency from the daughter's cochlear implant. So looking forward to seeing how that plays out in this film. I've got my heart rate monitor on, should be fun. Full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and let's get started. Oh, before times. He's still here. Day one. Shit's about to go down. What the hell happened? Okay. Immeasurable. Oh. Disgusting hands. <laughs> oh man, that kid. Carlos Beltran. That's a name I haven't heard in a while. <laughs> I didn't say die. It's just another day for everybody. Until it wasn't. I'm just waiting for... Oh. Yep, the dog sensed it first. Oh, what? He wasn't even paying attention. Oh, man. Is it an alien invasion? I don't actually remember what happened exactly. Oh, Jesus! She has no fucking clue! Oh my god. No time to answer, no time to answer, I'm sorry. It's the be beginning of the end of the world. It's gonna get crushed. Oh shit, the bus! Yikes! Holy crap. She saw them. They survived because they didn't have to speak to communicate. She's gonna get taken. Are you there? They're gonna get pinpointed. Mom? Don't pray right now, they can hear you. <laughs> <laughs> and she can't hear it, but she can feel the vibrations of its growl, right? A little bit. Oh shit! <laughs> oh shit, oh shit. Sorry, man. Oh no. Heart racing. Is my heart racing? Oh, it's not even been a. It's only it hasn't even been two years. I forgot how little time has passed. By himself, he's terrified. I'm a little afraid that she'll make noise without realizing it. He wrote that there, there were three in the area. Oh man, the freaking. Grain silo, too? Is that a fire? Is that civilization? Or another group? Crunch. We gotta slip through this? Oh god. Even the like most basic of movements becomes so nerve-wracking. Oh crap. Oh no! Oh no 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 no! Run! I would run just like a little bit and then... Oh. Sniper. Oh, fuck! Fuck! <laughs> Holy fuck! Throw something far away. A brick, a bottle. 
<laughs> Is that the first one you've actually seen be killed? Hey, that, okay, that's why he's in this movie. <laughs> oh, man. Let's kill this one, too. Oh, my God. God, that has to hurt like hell. And she made it. Of course she did. Oh, and it closes on a claw. Makes it silent. There's nothing I can do. You won't survive. He's not showing his face. I can't help you. They can help you, though. Please. Also, have you seen someone kill the one before? Is it an oxygen thing? Because that feels way too soon, right? Maybe it is. Alcohol for the wound. <laughs> Oh, 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 man. It's not like he can get moving after that injury. I didn't reach the bone. That's good. But that wrap won't last. Shit, man. That boys. I assume. That day. And Nora. 11 weeks ago. Oh, man. She was sick. Hell, I was along with good in the house. The pain just was when she started screaming. It's come here. It wants to end up. Yeah. You gave her the best shot you could. When you saw the flame. Night after night. Oh. Why didn't you? Did you know it was him? Yes. <laughs> Same song has been playing over and over the last four months. It's the valley. I tried the radio from our house too, but, but we never heard anything until we got up here. Your dad yeah. was never gonna make it work. I told you there is nothing left. A man broken. I don't know how much. <sighs> I want you gone tomorrow. These are people you can trust. And you're gonna turn them away? Oh man. <laughs> That's a heck of a way to wake up somebody, I guess. I mean, it makes sense, but it's funny. <laughs> it's a message. Ah. In an island. She knows what she's talking about. Why not? It's... Oh. Jeez. Mm. Uh. There was a look of judgment there. It felt like she thought he was a coward. Did she leave already? Sick. Keep listening. <laughs> when it was blurry, I was like, does it say gone leaving? That would have been really funny. But she's off on her freaking own! He look you right in the eye and he tell you that his little girl is absolutely the kind of person worth saving. So please go find her. Oh man. Whoa. Dead body. <sighs> Stressing me the frick out. Oh my fucking god! Uh, did somebody die while they were on the toilet? Oh, that's not the toilet. Probably a body blocking the door, though. It's gonna drop on the ground. <sighs> we're not. Oh my god! What the? Yeah, I'm pretty. I was pretty sure it was a body. How much noise did you make when you just fell? 
She doesn't know. The movie went silent. Oh. Oh shit! Ah shit! Ah shit! You see it, you see it. Okay, good. It's a lot of it's to do with just two hands. Can you aim properly? You have to like level it with your knee. Oh, you just made it angrier. You just made it angrier. Emmett! Thank you. <sighs> Maybe we should just lure them all out one by one and kill them. Each and every one of them. Stay here until they're gone. And then we go. Understand? No. Crap. <laughs> Man. <sighs> Do you have pencil and paper? No. You don't even have to say it out loud. You can just... Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh. Ooh. Now is a chance to... D <laughs> uh. She's gonna have to assume that they're dead, then, if... They don't come back within the day. Oxygen tank is brilliant. Seems like it's running out. Ugh. <sighs> Where'd we get replacement oxygen tanks in a time like this? We just took a little nap here? What happened? What the heck? Where'd he go? He's still here? <laughs> he was just taking it to protect himself. No, he wasn't... He didn't ditch you. <sighs> Be nice to have a cloth here, too. No, wait. Yeah. I'm sure he knows what's to, what, what to do with the baby. It's just he is so afraid of lo losing her. Thunk! A, pist a single pistol, and she doesn't have the... This is so dangerous. You came all the way out here and found a boat across the bridge? Came back and just brought more and more toys. Oh, he saw the boat from, from the bridge. You're gonna leave it here? You'll be right back? Is everybody leaving the baby? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Creek, creek, creek. I'm surprised we didn't gather more of these supplies earlier. Oh, shh. What the hell? Is he looking for his mom? Is that what's going on? I think so, I guess. There was another person on this boat? Probably too heavy to take two? I don't know, no? Yep, there's a child. What the heck though? Is it okay? I don't know. What the f why? What is happening? God damn it. God damn it. They they are using the song to lure people here. Shit. <sighs> Close it a little loud. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh damn it! Oh damn it! Oh damn it! Oh shit! Oh shit! Wait, does that mean it's locked from the inside too? God damn! You're walking 
into something bad. God fucking damn it. God damn it. Put the stuff down. Or keep carrying it inside. Okay. How? Oh, God. You don't make this a sex thing, please. She's a child. You can use the ba baby's oxygen for, like, a tiny bit. Except it's basically run out. Oh, wow. We need that. That frequency is very specific. We need it. Dive. 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 Wow. Oh, you remember that. Oh. That was not water. And that did nothing. Now what? Is that an- oh. oh! Holy shit! Crap, it's like- Oh man. Oh, that's- Bloody. It's closed and they can't breathe. Open it, open it, open it, open it. Open it, open it. You put the gun down? Marcus, wake up! Where are the girl? Oh my god, there's two of them, there's two of them! Oh, that's fucking terrifying, it's in the water! Wait, 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 wait! Oh, th oh thank god, thank god this time. Is it not able to swim? I thought it was able to swim, but I guess there was ground beneath last time when it was swimming. Oh my god. Holy shit. Oh god. Can we get this thing off of him? Oh, nice. <laughs> Put it back on your ear. Sorry, it was in my mouth. They're just openly making sound. And it's fine. This is a place where everybody can be safe. And they welcomed him in, apparently. Both of them. You heard the song. Figure it out. She did. She did. Uh, and now we gotta go back and she was uh, figuring it out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Once they knew they couldn't swim, the National Guard were told to start loading people onto boats. Everyone just started pushing forward. Yeah. That's when they started screaming. They had twelve boats lined up on the dock that day. And nobody and made it. Got out. Jesus. Can't the boats go back and forth multiple times? What are we doing? Anyway, you're here now to get help. The given. Explain. <laughs> yes. He said yes. <laughs> Wait, speak to me. Look at me so I can see what you're saying. Oh no, the boat drifted here. Get God damn it. You're driving, you're drawing it away, getting in the car to draw them. Oh my God, that is such a dangerous thing to do. Oh jeez. Oh, he's gonna get taken right now! Oh man, called it. Shit. Oh man. Oh my gosh. You're gonna crawl through? Oh my god. Please don't slip, please don't slip.
Oh god, oh god. She almost- oh god, that would have been bad. The drawer would have just- Damn it! He saw it. He saw it. He saw it. You saw the fear in his eyes. You saw the fear in his eyes. Oh crap, oh- Oh no. Yeah, do this, do, do it now, do it now. Put it to the thing, put it to the mic. Oh, ow. Hurry. They did it. <laughs> He's showing great bravery in this moment. This is his moment. Pick up the gun and shoot. We're gonna. Oh, brother and sister, side by side. <laughs> in parallel. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Uh, please don't die. Oh, that's the end of the film? Wow. A little bit of hope there at the end. Okay, I had a really great time with this film. Really enjoyed seeing day one. The film opening on a completely quiet street, so you weren't completely sure if it was just a, an abandoned area or if nothing had happened yet. And yeah, things were so normal for a little while. And then there was that fear that settled in when people saw things falling from the sky. And there was panic, and nobody had any idea how to deal with any of this. And you can really see why a lot of people would just get taken out immediately, because they didn't silence their phones. And it was just the first 10 minutes of this film that was the flashback. But honestly, I could have watched so much more of that, so I'm excited for day one, the movie. And it felt like they really used the runtime of this film effectively. The fil film felt longer than it was, but not necessarily in a bad way. Like, the overall story doesn't move forward that much, but the amount of tension, action, all of that was just squeezed into an hour and a half, and I thought they really did a good job with that. And yeah, we learned that the thing is can't swim in this film, so I'm curious about, like, military bases on island nations, or heck, just like Hawaii. And I'm curious if there are more people out there still just living pretty regular lives, and maybe there are other encampments out there with people living safely. It's a shame that that island the daughter was on at the end was invaded by that boat that drifted over. Man. And I found that story really, really captivating, the one about everybody trying to get on the boats, how it basically became a huge meat grinder because there were just too many people who were desperate and became violent, and all the boats didn't even get used. And I am wondering why the people who ambushed Killian and the daughter didn't sail off in the boats to an island. I uh, really like that moment where Killian signs for her to dive though. That was set up more than a year beforehand in a flashback in a completely different context trying to sign to his kid how to dive in baseball. And it makes sense that he still remembers because a lot of people remember like exact details on extremely world changing moments, traumatic moments. And yeah, I'm always a fan of little things set up earlier in movies coming back around in really satisfying ways. And yeah, really impressed with the kids acting again. When the bear trap clamped down on the sun, he had this look of terror and confusion that morphed when the pain started pouring in. And then the daughter's interactions with Killian Murphy, from telling him off to thinking he ran off with her implant, it was just really, really compelling stuff. Also, Killian's character wears shoes, and it seems like everything is fine despite that. He doesn't alert anybody with his footsteps. There's not a moment in the film where it gets him into trouble, so I get why in your home base you'd want to go barefoot when it's like familiar territory, but the family was still barefoot throughout this entire film, even as they trekked through uncharted areas. I'm just happy they didn't step on something that caused them to scream again. But yeah, if the first film was about the parents and the lengths they go through for their children, it felt like this film was about the kids stepping into their father's legacy, uh, acting out of compassion, showing bravery, and the kid's journey felt like so much of the core of this story. Like, we saw just how afraid the son was throughout the last film, and in this film as well. Can't even stand the thought of his mother leaving to get supplies that they definitely need. He even tried to get her to stay by saying he doesn't know how to take care of the baby, and try to stop his sister from leaving as well. And I'm not sure exactly what he's more scared of being alone and unprotected, or of them dying. But when the time finally came with his family's back against the wall, his sister gave him a chance to show his courage, and the scene cutting back and forth between the two of them just approaching a monster, weapon in hand, the cochlear implant's frequency, the sound that was made by their father allowing them both to take out one of those monsters. And I don't remember too many people's names in this film, but then the daughter, 
Her journey, she's always been brave, some might even say reckless, but not only does she uphold her father's legacy by always trying to do what is right, she's able to convince others to do the same as well, which is just almost a superpower. Like Killian Murphy was untrusting, unconcerned with everybody else in the world, wasn't even going to help them when they showed up at his doorstep. Like, I understand his fear, but if you weren't a hermit before the apocalypse, living without human connection afterwards just feels so incredibly lonely. Honestly, I mentioned The Last of Us uh, similarities twice throughout the film, but there are parallels between the relationship between uh, Killian and the daughter with Joel and Ellie as well. But yeah, the daughter just wants to do the right thing. Uh, this frequency with the implant that her father left behind, she views it as a legacy that only she can continue to perpetuate. And even if it was reckless, just going off on your own like that, and she would have died if Killian hadn't gotten there just in time. But as the audience, I'm still like supportive of her and what she wants to do. Like everything about this world tells her that it's not worth the risk to go and try to help these people. It could all be a trap even. Killian has said that people here and now are not worth saving. And there are so many dangers with that trip, but she still goes through with it. And I think, I remember being frustrated with her times at times in the first film, but I was all about her actions in this film. I do think the first movie had a bit more heart with John Krasinski's character bonding with his son, and then letting his daughter know that he loves her and doesn't blame her for her brother's death. And of course the sacrifice he made at the end was really really iconic, so I did enjoy the first one more for that aspect, I think it had more heart. And I also think the first film had some more iconic moments. Like while I was watching this, I was constantly flashing back to scenes from the first film that were just so good. The nail. I mean, I hated that, but it's seared into my brain forever. Uh, the bathtub scene with the fireworks, the silo. I mean, it was just fantastic movie making. Uh, this time around, I thought it was good throughout, high attention stuff, but nothing that stood out quite as much as those. But hey, I gave the first film a 9.5. It was fantastic. So this one is still like an 8.75 for me. So still a really good score. I really enjoyed my time with it. Looking forward to the day one prequel that focuses on other characters. I know Lupita Nyong'o is in that. So I don't think I've seen her since Wakanda Forever. So I'm excited for that. Hope it's good. But yeah, full reaction is going to be on Patreon in the link in the description below. Leave a like and I'll see you guys next time with more. Bye friends.